So, in this video, we're going to talk about what's changing from the current IMS 1.0 to the IMS 2.0. So, if you're a if you haven't used the IMS 1.0, you probably don't need to, to even watch this video. But we wanted to point out a few things that you'll will be noticeably different uh, in IMS 2.0. Um, leads in your database with a status of a bad phone numbers will be analyzed and possibly converted to a lead status of not contacted. This will happen on any lead that contains more than one phone number. The original phone number entered when the lead registered on our site will be marked as bad and all other numbers will be updated to a phone status of unknown. You're going to learn more through the following videos, or maybe you've already watched some videos where we talk about phone status. Phone status, we're going to start keeping track of um, as far as good numbers, bad numbers, or unknown numbers. And this will make a lot more sense, or maybe it already does, when you watch the, the following, the more, the videos on those specific topics. You'll probably notice a drastic, or maybe not a drastic, but an increase in your not contacted leads. The next change that you'll notice is the IMS app uh, will be deprecated. It'll no longer work. So you want to delete that from your phone. Uh, the new IMS 2.0 is uh, mobile friendly, so there's no need to use the old app. There's a couple changes in the lead router. After you accept a lead through the lead router, this is what page you will be taken to. It's the action page of the IMS 2.0. We go into a lot of detail about each of the, the things you see on this page in different videos uh, on this channel, so uh, it'll make more sense once you watch those. The automated follow-up plan um, we did add one new thing to this. Um, right here's the day and the time after you initially accept the lead, what we send out. We send out an email after 15 minutes. What we're adding is an additional phone call, hopefully uh, by the agent, uh, to the lead if the lead is not contacted after that first initial attempt through the lead router. You'll get a text message. It'll read something like call reminder or I'm not exactly sure what the text will be yet, but uh, it'll say call reminder. You'll click on the link uh, in the text and it'll open up the action page in the IMS 2.0. Obviously, we hope you hit that call button and try it for a second time, either on desktop or mobile. If your initial call attempt through the lead router lasted less than two minutes, the follow-up plan will be enabled. If your call lasted longer than two minutes, the follow-up plan gets disabled. When you change the lead status from not contacted to prospect or client, the follow-up plan gets disabled. These are all automatic things that happen with the system. If you change the status to bad phone numbers, the text messages in the automated follow-up plan gets get disabled. You'll also not be notified to try and call this lead again in 20 minutes. You can manually disable most of the follow-up plan or individual pieces of the plan. That hasn't changed from IMS 1.0. Agent flagged hot leads. In the old system, you had a button where you could click a turn a lead hot or flag it as hot. All leads in your database that have the hot flag set will be set with a quote flagged lead tag in the IMS 2.0. When you convert over from IMS 1.0 to 2.0, we're going to convert all your hot leads to flagged leads. So this is what they'll look like in the IMS. You'll see a little tag to the left of the name underneath the lead status. It'll just say flagged. When you log into the IMS 2.0 for the first time or whenever you do, you can find all of these flagged quote hot leads from your IMS 1.0 in a saved prospecting list. It will automatically be created for you. That saved prospecting list is a link down in the footer, the home page. You click on it, it opens up. There will already be a saved list for you of all your hot leads from IMS 1.0. Lead on site now notifications. 
the link will link to the action page. Once again, it's the page where you can make that quick phone call to the lead and view all of your history that you have with the lead. The phone number will be removed from the notification. We want everyone to use the call button so that uh, you know we can track we can track our attempts. We can make sure that you know 20 minutes after the lead is received is the the right time to call. Uh, we use all these stats to uh, to make decisions moving forward. So that link will go to the action page and the phone number will be removed from that notification. That those are the major things uh, that you'll notice. Uh, as a difference in IMS 2.0. Obviously there's about a hundred other features in 2.0 that are different than IMS 1.0 but these are the things that will affect your leads. So if you have any questions please talk to your manager. Thanks.